Hey guys, welcome to another video episode of Coin Sutra and I'm your host Harsh Agarwal. I hope you're enjoying our uh, series of video we talked about Binance exchange, showed you how to use the Binance mobile app and this is one of the most requested videos by our user. So, when a new user sign up for Binance, they ask you to set up the 2FA that is called two factor authentication and it is very important for your own security. So, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up 2FA. But what you need to understand here is when we sign up for any website, two common thing we do is we use a username and password. 2FA adds another level of security. It's basically done by using your mobile app and there is an app called Google Authenticator that's by Google. So it kind of generate a you know, new key every 30 to 40 seconds and you add that second, that key when you try to log into your Binance account or any other crypto account to be able to log in. Well, with that, in this video, I'm going to exactly show you how to set up 2FA for your Binance account and you can use the same technique for any other account. So with that, let's move ahead. All right, so I assume you already have an account on Binance. Now, once you're logged in to your Binance account, you can either go to funds and withdrawal or you can also click on your profile and set it up from there. The very first time you will see a remark like this. Now in this, you can select Google authentication and it will prompt you to install the Google authenticator app. This is something you need to do on your mobile phone, either on your iPhone or Android phone. In this case, I have an Android phone, so I'll be using the same. Since I have app installed, let's click on next step. Now this is very important. So do you see this backup key? You need to make a note of it. You need to write it down on a piece of paper or any secure note taking app like Dashlane or something. Because if you lose your phone in future, you can always recover your two-factor authentication using this code. So always remember this code is very important. Make a note of it. So let me quickly make a note of it. So once you have made the note, now you need to open up your Google Authenticator app and scan this barcode. So open Google Authenticator app and click on plus icon. Click on scan a barcode or enter a provided key. So you have both the option. You can enable this by scanning the QR code or you can also enter the backup key which is shown on the screen. So in this case, I will scan the barcode and you can see over here, we are getting the code which will reset after every 30 to 40 seconds. So now click on next. It will again ask you to take a backup of your recovery key. Now, which we have already done. So click on next step. Now, the first thing is to enter the key, then login password, and now the Google Authenticator code. So, and then enable Google Authentication. So that's it. The Google Authentication has been successfully enabled. And you can click on your profile and you can see here that Google Authentication has been enabled. You can also disable it if you like. Another thing that Binance support is SMS authentication, which also work if you don't want to use Google Authenticator. Since many of the users are not very techy, they can actually take advantage of SMS authentication, which also works for international users as well. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and do let your comments keep coming because that actually help us to understand what you are struggling with and how we can help you to learn more about cryptocurrency. Do check out coinsutra.com and if you have question, you can also engage with our community at ask.coinsutra.com. You will find all the link in the description. And with that, best of luck. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.